So you can kind of compare a strong nuclear file to like a nuclear missile. Because when your nuclear missile hits its target, right, it ends up, releasing, it ends up releasing a lot of um, radiation. And methoxide here, when it, and, methox, and methoxide here, it has the excess of electrons that it wants to, I guess you could think of, radiate or give away and form a bond. And that's exactly what it does when it attacks the substrate over here. And then for a weak nuclear file, you can kind of think of it as just a standard, regular missile that you see in your movies and stuff. And it doesn't release radiation when it hits its target because methanol, in this case, it's not charged. It doesn't have an excess of electrons. It's not that. It's not as strong as a nuclear missile. Does that make sense? Hopefully, yeah. hopefully that helps. Okay. Um, okay. So now that you guys know what a nuclear file is, I just want to explain why it's even called SN two and SN one in the first place. So the reason why the SNs are there is because N stands for nucleophile. S stands for substitution, which is what we're going to do in this reaction. Your nucleophile is going to substitute your leaving group here. So that stands for SN. And the same goes for SN1 reactions. But the difference is the 2 and the 1. The 2 stands for uh, both the nucleophile and the leaving group has an effect on how fast the reaction occurs. And the 1 stands for only the leaving group has an effect on how fast the reaction occurs. And I guess, uh, I guess, and I guess another way you could think about it is we pretend like this um, this substrate here, it's like a game system. It's like the Wii or like the PS2 or I actually haven't gamed in a really long time so I don't know what people play the nowadays, but I guess Wii, um, iPad, whatever, and pretend like the methoxide is like the older sibling and then the bromine is like the younger sibling, right? If both of them have an effect on how fast the older sibling gets to use the game system, because the older, the, old, the older sibling, he's older, he, I guess he has more power than the younger sibling. So he comes into the room, he, he basically kicks the younger sibling out, and then he uses the gaming system. But how willingly the younger sibling wants, is willing, but how willingly the younger sibling, or younger brother, is willing to let the older brother use the game system has an effect. If the, if the younger sibling is okay with it, or like, if, if the younger sibling is okay with it, like a good leaving group, then the reaction will happen fast. But if the younger sibling ends up having an argument or a fight with the older sibling, right, then the reaction won't happen as fast. And if you take a look at SN1, you can kind of think of it like the methanol here is the younger sibling in this case, and the bromine is the older sibling. The younger sibling is going to go into the living room and ask the, the older sibling, can I use the Wii or iPad or whatever? And then that's not going to have an effect because the older sibling has more power. He's just going to be like, no. Um, he's just going to be like, no. He's just going to be like, no. He's just going to be like, no. So yeah, maybe hope. So yeah, that's another way to think about it. Uh, maybe that'll help you guys. Okay, so that's basically it for this video. I'm, I'm trying to keep my videos a little bit shorter. So I won't be overloading you guys with information like boom, boom, boom in your face. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think about the, these shorter videos. Do you like it or do you prefer them to be longer? Um, yeah, if there was something I guess really helpful or useful that, that you find in this video or any of my future videos, feel free to just leave a comment down below and then this way I know that they're good to use and then I'll use them in the future when I tutor other students. Um, yeah, and also, Check out my next video. I'm gonna go over these next these other points that I didn't go over in this video. If you like the way I explain SN2 and SN1 so far, make sure you hit the subscribe button, which is either here, 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 or here, because YouTube keeps changing. I have no idea where it's gonna be. But yeah, hit subscribe and you'll be updated when I make new videos. Okay? Hope I helped. Bye. Oh jeez.